Hi YouTube, this is Born What Avail, and this reading is for Gemini. Gemini, this is your general reading for March the 30th to April the 15th, 2020. If this does not resonate with you, check out my other videos. Um, go to freebirthchart.com, uh, put in your information to see what other signs are in your birth chart. This way you can watch my other videos, okay? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe is very important. Sharing is important comment is important and okay so if you'd like a reading please contact me at 313-401-3707 or you can uh, email me at bornwoodavail at yahoo.com okay so let's start out Gemini with your first reading reconciliation so Gemini, some of you are going to be reconciling with somebody from the past. Someone from your past is returning to your life, uh, if they haven't already. Okay? But someone definitely is coming back from your past. And this is going to happen very soon. I mean, they're going to come in fast. The end of March and April. Uh, you're going to have to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Do you want them back or don't you want them back? That's the key. Do you want to take them back? Remember, X is an X for a reason. So definitely somebody's coming back, and you have to make a decision. Flirt. Uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So they're going to be flirting with you a lot if they haven't started already. That's the way it's going to start off, by them flirting with you, trying to get back, trying to whisper sweet nothings. This is man or woman, two men, two women, whatever it may be. But they are definitely um, going to text you, call you, uh, email you some type of way to let you know that they're still interested and they don't, and they don't want to let go. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. They're looking for a romance from you. They're, they're trying to stay optimistic about um, the love that you two used to have. Are you still staying optimistic about the love that you two used to have? The romance, the passion, the sex? Are you staying optimistic about it? Do you want them back too? That's the question. This could be the one. You clearly already met the romantic partner you seek. So they feel that you're the one for them. And you could feel the same way. That the person that's coming back that they're made for you that you want to get back together with them uh, start over again um, have a happy life and if not you then it's them you can always reverse it they're thinking that they want you back that they want to make it work this time whatever was wrong uh, they want to correct it or maybe you both want to correct it together or you want to correct it to make it right then we have Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. So this is the time right now everybody has to stay in. So this is the time uh, for you to meditate, for you to spend time with yourself. Is this, is this what you truly want? Do you want a relationship with them again? You do or you don't. So this is the best time to isolate yourself, to figure out what it is that you want. Morning affirmations. Stay positive. Affirmations each morning to open up the gates of manifestation. So a lot of you are going to stay positive about this. You're going to pray about this. Um, you're going to manifest about this. You have time. Is this the right decision for me? Is this person right for me? They're on your mind a lot and you're, or you're on their mind a lot. But they definitely want you back. Self-forgiveness, let go of the old guilt and remember that God's perfect, you're God's perfect child. So maybe you you have to forgive yourself. Maybe there's some things that you did in that relationship that you want to forgive yourself of. Um, and then move on and, and either move on with them or move on without them. Father healing, your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. So... What you need to do is pray to God about it in Jesus. He's there for you. He wants to give you that fatherly healing. Um, has he healed you already from the relationship, this person that wants to come back to you? Has he already healed your heart from them for what they did to you? 
okay? If he's already healed you and you've moved on, then you should move on from it. But if you feel like there's any doubt that there might be a possibility with them, Gemini, then that's something that you have to consider within yourself. A new dawn. The worst is behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So some of you um, are on a new experience. Some of you are not going to take this person back and then some of you are. But some of you have moved on. It's a new beginning. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. And um, some of you will not take this person back. Some, some of you are kind of iffy about it. You don't know if you want to or you don't. That's something that you have to meditate and you have to think about. Oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and, and guidance for yourself and others. So some of you are um, psychics on YouTube. And you're trying to decipher this, uh, this situation for yourself. Should I take them back? Should I stay with them? Should I let them go? That's something that you're trying to decide through the cards. And maybe those cards, maybe some of you can read yourself and some of you can't read yourself. Okay, and then some of you need to come to me or another psychic so they can um, figure out what's going on. How will it turn out? But see, then some of you already know if you're psychic, you already know how it's going to turn out. And some of it might be a disaster, and some of you might think that it's okay to take this person back. But before you take them back, you got to reconsider, Gemini. What did they do to you before you take them back? What are the lies? What are the trickery? You know, what are the cheating? What is it that they did to you? And the reason why they want to come back. Because it didn't work out with that other person, Gemini, so then now they want you back. So you've got to take that in all to consideration. Heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So what is your heart desire? The angels are there to help you, to guide you. I do feel, Gemini, that it is a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that you're dealing with. There's a lot of earth around you and there's a lot of water around you, Gemini. Or they could have it in their chart or you could have it in your chart. Uh, healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. So a lot of you are healers within the psychic realm. You do Reiki. You're a healer. infinite abundance you fully support it as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose so you have a lot of abundance coming your way you're supported uh, by the other side and a lot of you are devoting yourself to the divine life purpose travel your life purpose involves traveling so some of you are traveling a lot you're business people you're a businessman you're a businesswoman you do a lot of traveling and some of you, um, at this time, can't be in a relationship because you're doing so much traveling. But since we're going through this, I don't want to say it, since we're all on lockdown, um, some of you can't travel. So this gives you a ch uh, chance to think about what is it that you truly want. Okay? And then we have... The seven of coins. So seven coins are reversed. So this is a card of mixed emotions. A lot of you are very confused at this time because this person is going to re-enter your life or they're trying to re-enter your life. It's going to get your emotions going. Um, it's also an indication of money and stability. Okay, so... Can this person help you out economically? Can they help you out money-wise? Okay. Or is it to the fact that you're okay money-wise and you're stable and you don't need this person back into your life? Uh, this card represents both the positive and the negative impact of money. So then maybe this person can help you out financially. Maybe you'll let them back for them, for them reasons. Okay. Or maybe you're okay yourself and you don't need them.
then you have the page of cups so the page of cups is in the reversed so um also i believe uh aries got this card but some of you are dealing with a, a short statue male sometimes stocky could lift weights could exercise often is uh in need of assistance they're very dependent and they have a good heart but they always need you for something just like i told aries um this person can be very manipulative they can be very insecure about their situation with their self uh, they can you try to use you where they have used you um Maybe they're trying to escape from something and trying to use you. Um, maybe there's a fantasy fantasy, um, and realistic hopes that they have about you. Okay? So you got to be careful so they're not trying to use you to come back. And then you got the five of coins. And uh, the five of coins is in the reverse position. It's a card of despair in overdue bills. So it could go two ways. Either they're, they're in a despair and they have overdue bills and they can't afford to pay their bills so they want to move in with you. Or you are in despair over your bills and you need this person to help you. But definitely there's some obligations there. Um, somebody has an unstable residence at this time. They have a fear in financial devastation. So it's either you or them that's having money problems. Somebody needs somebody here. You have the strength card. So a lot of you are being strong at this time. You're trying to stand your ground. Um, you emotionally and physically, there's strength there, emotionally and physically there. Uh, you're very brave, you're very self-disciplined, and you're very patient. Um, but since it's in the reversed, there's an indecision about this person and a weakness that you have. Like I say, some of you got to think about it. And then some of you, it's like, you don't know what you're going to do. And then some of you are going to go for it, and some of you are not. Then you got the Five of Swords facing me. This is a card of decisions and consequence. So if you decide to take this person back, there will be a consequence with this decision. Um, they're moving away from people and environment. They're letting go. So whatever that they had going on, they want to get back with you and they're letting it go. Um, it, may be a t it may be a time to limit your losses by letting go. Um, do not let the negative in um, input of others influence your decision. So don't listen to what anybody else has to say. You have to make this decision yourself. And do not continue to fight when the war is over. Move away from the situation. So... Some of you are going to move away from the situation. You're not going to take this person back. So it's almost like a 50-50 here. Some of you will and some of you won't. So that's the, the, the decision is yours. Only you can make that decision of what you want to do with this person. It's not going to be easy for some of you. And then some of you, it will be easy. Some of you have let this person go totally, and then some of you have not let this person go. Because you don't want to. You want to recapture what you thought that you had. Okay, Gemini? So this is Born with a Veil. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like a reading, please get in contact with me. Thank you so much, and have a good night. This is Born with a Veil.